Hello everyone and welcome to... A Million Dollars on Red. This is Europe, and here's Monaco. Now let's Monaco, shall we? Comprising a mere two square kilometers, Monaco is the second smallest country in the world, but its history is surprisingly big. Its first known inhabitants were the mysterious Liguris. The northwest province of modern Italy is still called Liguria. The Phoenicians are said to have settled there and dedicated it to the god Melkart, seen here with a rather sly, cheeky expression. The Greeks associated Melkart with the figure of Heracles, better known as Hercules, and they built a temple to him there, from which Monaco likely gets its name. In Greek, monoikos. Monos meaning single or alone, and oikos meaning house. Single house, house on its own. Perhaps because the temple was the only structure in the area. Anyway, Monaco was ruled by Rome from the time of Julius Caesar until the Roman Empire's collapse in the 5th century. Germanic invaders took control before the Eastern Roman Byzantines under Justinian took it, only for different Germanic invaders to swipe it the next century. By 1191, everything had gone, as they say, full circle, and the Ligurians were back in control. The the area granted by the Holy Roman Empire to the city of Genoa, the capital of Liguria. In 1297, two gentlemen of Genoa seized the Rock of Monaco after disguising themselves as Franciscan friars. Though they were later expelled, the Grimaldi family returned to take possession again in 1395. Then they lost it. Then they got it again in 1419. The family has been ruling Monaco ever since, but they were not royalized until the 1600s when Honoré II became Prince of Monaco. He sought the help of France against Spanish forces, which he got. But when the French kings were disposed of in the French Revolution, the armies of revolutionary France took over Monaco. In 1815, the Congress of Vienna gifted Monaco to the Kingdom of Sardinia. Then, in 1860, it was handed back to France. Meanwhile, Monaco's regions of Monton and Roquebrune, grim from Grimaldi taxes, sought to break away, and Charles III of Monaco said, okay, fine. And they joined France, and Monaco lost over 90% of its territory. Land loss also meant monetary predicament, and so we soon witness the grand opening of what would become the most famous casino in the world, Monte Carlo, where the rich have been happy to splash cash ever since. So good was the revenue, Monaco had no need to tax its populace, a further encouragement for wealthy persons to want to live there. Nevertheless, the Monegasque people were unhappy that their prince remained an absolute ruler and did not like all the Frenchmen taking key positions of power, and there were a series of riots until the prince, Albert I, listened to his people and did what they wanted, approving the constitution of Monaco in 19 World War II saw Monaco occupied by Mussolini's fascists and then Hitler's Nazis. In 1949, Prince Regnier III ascended the throne, who brought his nation worldwide fame in 1956 after marrying the Academy Award-winning American actress Grace Kelly. Their wedding was a media sensation broadcast on live TV. In the 1970s, Monaco expanded its territory by a process called land reclamation, making this bit here. Further extensions were made and are going on right now, and Monaco today has a very high level of human development, is one of the richest nations on the planet, synonymous with luxury, and enjoys the highest life expectancy of any country. But does it have a cool mustache like me? <laughs> I don't think so. Anyway, that's it for Monaco, and that's all from me for now. Bye bye